Now, I get a lot of comments on my YouTube channel. Everyone raise your hand if you've commented on one of my videos. Okay, put your hands down. Raise your hand if you've commented something constructive on my YouTube videos. Oh, not, not too many. Okay, raise your hand if you've suggested a vehicle in the comment section. Ah, yes, yep. There you are. There you are, person who keeps commenting. Hey, hey, <coughs> hey, fly. Uh, why don't you take out a captured vehicle and go in sim battle and uh, try to pretend that you're the you're the you're the friendly, but the, your enemy. <laughs> First of all, this is joking, uh, but seriously, I'm not going to do that just because sim players really don't like that. And I don't really like that. I mean, just for an example, this is what I have to deal with. I should probably blur out your name. Okay, I'm going to do that. Can you send me $100 with the Golden Eagle so I don't have to grind for the Abrams? Just... There you go, dude. Give me your PayPal, bro. Gotcha. Uh, there, there's been a lot of comments going around of the Nashorn. Nashorn, fly, play the Nashorn. Fly, you never played the Nashorn. Fly, you've never... Sorry. You've never played the Nashorn. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I definitely, definitely did. For like a solo video. But I've I've looked. Oh, uh, if you guys, uh, quick shout out to Bright Sun Films. If you guys like abandon or bankrupt stories about companies and places, um, this is like the best channel on YouTube for that. So big shout out Bright Suns. I, uh. I don't think you'll ever watch this, but thanks for all the good content. Seriously, guys, check him out. Nas Horn. Okay, this is Dev Server. Ultimate Depression. The, uh, what do you want to call it? The Fafen Pachana. Why upset he get? Dude, my titles are so amazing. They require so much thought and skill. Like, look at this. Yeet. Dicker Max Destruction! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh god, that's good. Okay. But I don't think we've ever done a solo video on this. I don't. Uh, so today we're going to do that. This is a phenomenal tank destroyer at 5.3. A long 88, a Tiger 2 88 that has 237 millimeters now of penetration. So pretty much everything we look at at 5.3 is going to be sliced through. Now 6.3 on the other hand might be a little tricky once we get into the, the uh, Super Pershing. Now I don't know if they fixed this yet. Let's see. This should definitely not go through, I, I, I feel like. But the good thing, at 5.3 we will not face the um, 6.7 Americans, which are extremely difficult to deal with. Um, well, not with the Tiger II's gun, but a uh, non-turreted gun, if you will. Okay, we're going to use the APC-BC. 500 meters. Wow, that's still crazy. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. Okay, we'll just, if we're inside 500 meters, we're shooting him right there. Now, it is kind of sketchy. He is getting close. Let's check Mantlet. Yeah, okay, we won't shoot Mantlet. We'll just shoot center right there. Oh, oof. Okie dokie. Now, if we were on the other spawn, this would be very lucrative. But for me to get into my position, which is going to be over here to shoot like this, we're going to first have to clear out all of this because this has become very popular recently. Well, maybe like three, five, eight, one year ago, you know, recently. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, sorry about that decal. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so it's actually going to be hard to play with that. Me looking at that constantly. We'll just play like this. All right, guys, here we're, we're we're about to go into battle. We've got good visibility. If I was on the other side, this would be extremely lucrative. The problem with being on this side is that we have a long way to travel, exposed to our position, which is also exposed because we're going to be going here. Mm here shooting this way but if we were on the other side I would just go down here poke up right through here and then shoot like this this is a much easier route route to go through it's just that I don't have that much depression to even really use these hills perfectly we've got multiple one one right there to our right
Load, load. Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is still not good. Okay, we're going to have to start bino spotting here. That seems interesting, doesn't it? Oh, that's convenient. What we were looking at was not a real tank. But strangely, just a, a, a Cheeto just popped right out at perfect time. Now, how much longer are we going to be able to survive here? Our team's cleared out Bravo extremely well. We're going to take a more aggressive position here. We've got about two or three open shooting positions here. One, two, three. M18 to our left still alive. We don't need to worry about the right too much. We're going to be killing incoming. Wow, we really did a number on them early game. We got anti-air. Come on, come on, lay, lay, lay. Track, good hit, good hit, I'll take it. We're gonna try to finish this, but I think he might be in cover. There he is. Would this be a different guy? No bombs, please. Bombs, that's a bomb, that's a bomb, that's a bomb. Oh my gosh. I can't see where he went. Okay, he's still in the same position. I love that sound effect. Seriously, it's just so butter crisp. Mmm. Okay, so now the NAS is looking to my left. To my and we're out of here. We just have we got enemy to our left. We gotta engage this right now. It's an Avenger. He's behind the rock. Crap. That was a good shot too. Is that too high or too low? Okay, he got his commander loader. We're in a bad spot. We should have waited a little bit longer, but he might back up to give us another. Oh, they got the Avengers up. We've got really good camo, too. Tank. Okay, we got one more or two. Okay, he's dead though. The M6A1 that we were looking at first is dead. Okay, no aggro on me. We're going to push up. Eight rounds left. Eight rounds left. Okay, this is a really good spot for us. Uh oh. From behind. Or in front? I can't tell. Our gun is damaged, and we're gonna have to. Uh, we're, we're gonna call it out. This guy in front of me should definitely see me. There's like three around here, it sounds. Aha, there you are. We're going to keep making him struggle here for this. Okay. We're out. Seven kills. Good run there. I don't know where he came from, though. I don't know where he came from. He, it sounded like he shot me from the rear. But then he appeared to my front right. Okay. <laughs> and a PT-76... Got the adventure. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic.
<laughs> I don't want to snipe on this map. I don't like when people know where I'm at. Like, you know, I don't enjoy sniping like that. I enjoy sniping when where people don't know where I'm at. But on this map, everyone knows where you're at because there's really cliche sniping positions. So we're going to... Okay, decent spawn. Not as good as these guys who've sold their soul to the devil. Why are you going to... Ah! Why are you going to put a Puma way up there? What's the point? The Puma's already quick. This is going to be sluggish, unfortunately, but... What the... F Dude, War Thunder has spawn mechanics of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh, another thing is, does anyone know why wheeled vehicles make these marks? It's like their wheels are made of talk or chalk or... Uh, they... They were carved from the cliffs of Dover. They really gotta fix it. But uh, wait, 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 wait for pro MLG move here. Yes, wait for the armor. Okay, anyways, the plan is that we're gonna push past here into this area. Now, that's gonna be kind of tough to do because we're late. But we're gonna get some snipes on. And we we even could hold down. And, um,. On. Let's look. We could hold down right there. Long range. Extremely long. Well, not extremely long, but extremely long on this map. Now, what we're, what we're going to employ right now is this, we're, we're going to hire this Puma to keep distracting for us. We got to move enemy plane. Oh, you? Oh my gosh, who are you? Yeah, I don't know how much closer you could have gotten with that. That Avenger saved the living crap out of that M18. Okay, let's take let's get some nice long shots in. Okay, that's cleared. Whoa. A little bit higher. Okay, nailed him pretty good. I just gotta say, I love when the M18s lose. This is a hard L for the enemy team. We didn't even really do that much. Okay, well, we, we, we have two kills. Let's see where this... Uh-oh. Could have multiple in here. Nicely done. Okay, enemy right, unless that's a dead guy already. Strange. Oh, hello. My gun is still working. Let's call it out on the mini-map real quick. I don't know. No armor's best armor. Yeah, where did that guy go? Aha! Okay, uh, Tiger H1 just took him out. We can push up again. Pretty surprised we, we just survived the enemy tank right there, I, I think. We're gonna get in position. I just saw movement. Nine. Oh, got you, dude. <laughs> okay, reload it. Not the best angle to be at here, though. Okay, we'll wait for that T-34 to give his life to Stalin. Enemies over to your right. Nice. 
Good job, dude. Normally, you got to be careful of that angle, but long 88 don't care. Up, oh, okay. Go give your life to Stalin again. Okay, in position. Clear. Nice kill, T-34. Sound effects are amazing right now. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this BR. Like, it's just like, it's alive. There's planes and there's bombs going off. And at top tier, all you hear is like your own M1A1 turbine whine. So I'm telling you guys, if you guys are looking forward to those vehicles, you know, do you. But I'm telling you that you won't have as much fun as this BR. 6.0 to 3. Uh-oh. M6A1 and a M4A3. Okay, we got him. Actually, a poor shot right there. Well, this should actually be quite interesting. We got one cap jungle. We're in position, at least for our early shots. And then we're down. We're... Oh, wait. Wait, how, how did they get over there? Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, Panther? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's just a Panther. I thought that was a... Oh man, this is going to be a weird battle, guys. Oh shoot. Almighty. They already have A. I don't... Uh, I don't want to sit and patrol these hills all game either. Okay, tank. It's got a glitch in the matrix right there. Ain't no one flanking us, Russians. Ooh, go guys, go, go. We got two in cap. The problem is there's someone else in cap, and then if they go into the cap, everyone can see them in cap, then they'll die in the cap, and then no one will be in the cap other than the enemy team. Oh, nice. Come on, guys, get in there. Clear them. I'm going to try to push A and shoot into, well, that A. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Nicely done. Enemy right there. Copy that. Ooh, beautiful Yag. Yag's in a perfect spot as well. I'm going to see if I can join him. Okay, we're good. Yag. Where'd you go? Just been moving in the water. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Potential sniper over here to the left. I think someone's got it locked down though. Still a lot of enemies left. I know what they're doing though. Oh crap almighty, crap almighty, crap almighty, crap almighty. Okay, engine shot first to stop him. 
Even though we probably could have killed him with the turret, but just 100% sure that he wouldn't get in that cap. Tank. Yeah, big shout out to G uh, Geo. And uh, we got a SPAA or something. Mm. That was him. T44. I think that's what it was. I don't know why he didn't use his main barrel. Oof, that's getting close, guys. I mean, good. I'd rather a P-47 waste a bomb on me than a panther. All he had to do was bomb a panther and come around and strafe me again, and I would have been out. All right, let's move, guys. We, we can't lose this. Tiger. That didn't look like a Tiger H1. Did you see that, guys? That right there, whatever that was, did not look like a Tiger H1. Yeah. Darn it. Darn it to all... We need to watch that A push. It's a Type 65, the anti-air. There he goes. Oh my goodness, Radiator. He's still moving, right? No, okay, he's, he's stopped. You ain't getting in that cap, ladies and gentlemen. You ain't. Yes! Good game, guys. That was so good. Ooh, they almost had a good push back there as well. Well, fellas, that's the Nashorn. It's really, really good for 5.3. It dinks anything. It's easy to aim. It has great zoom, good mobility. And you survive a lot more than you think because no armor is best armor. Fellas, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Peace out.